Uh, hey there guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, wanted to do uh, something kind of cool to kick off uh, the month of October. Um, I'm going to do a, a brand new subscriber giveaway. Um, I know I've tried to do a few things in the past uh, promotion wise and uh, you know it definitely helps. It's, it's a great thing to do. It's all, always a lot of fun. Um, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to pay attention. I'm usually pretty good at uh, seeing new subscribers all the time and and then when uh, you know people are commenting and stuff like that it's it's great to get to see uh, you know who typically um, comments and kind of you know shows interest and stuff like that so which is uh, basically why I uh, do the channel so um, what I'm gonna be doing yeah I'm gonna try to do a, a giveaway it's gonna be incredibly cryptic I'm not gonna say what it is uh, or anything like that it could be pretty cool it could be you, you never know right so anyways um, yeah so between uh, now while well, starting uh, October the 1st to I guess Halloween um, October 31st assuming that we all uh, can still have Halloween um, yeah I'm gonna keep an eye on all the notifications that I see throughout the month of uh, October and um, I'm going to just randomly pick uh, possibly more than one person uh, to uh, yeah get a get a special thank you so what I'll end up doing is um, uh, probably uh, announcing who they are or I'll try to figure out who how to contact them um, my Instagram channel should be uh, my link should be listed below so you can reach me there as well uh, I do post stuff on Instagram I, I sometimes I post um, videos that I posted here obviously but uh, you know if I'm working on a project I will also put like uh, you know some pictures that I'm work with whatever I'm working on uh, just to kind of you know kind of keep things going and uh, sharing you know sharing what I'm doing with you guys so um, but uh, yeah I actually wanted to share um, this lot with you guys and uh, this is um, a pretty cool uh, value village pickup that I got so I'm just going to kind of go through some of the cars with you guys here and um, yeah so let's see what we got so first off is this one here and uh, yeah let's see if so this is a jet threat actually um, I thought I, I think I've actually had a different jet threat as well but uh, I know there's obviously the the original one but uh, I thought this was kind of cool and um, I still got to get back to working on some more individual cars uh, for the uh, Martian uh, racing conversions and um, yeah I've been you know kind of soaked up a lot of my time into building massive things like this uh, guy here this uh, Goliath project which I'm it's here because I'm gonna work on it again um, but uh, sorry going back to these um, uh, looks like a land crasher sorry it's sometimes it's a little hard for me to see um, but yeah this is I don't even think I had one of these before um, can't see if there's any kind of sleeper parts on the inside like sometimes you get roll cages and stuff like that. This is, um, let's go a little closer. So maybe I can actually read it. Yeah, there you go. So, should have thought of that before. Um, next up is, oh, okay, so it is a Hot Wheels Mad Mutter 2. I thought this thing was cool because, I mean, uh, the engine itself is actually worth it. Uh, I don't know if I really like the vehicle. It's um, overall, but I really like um, this engine here. I've been actually trying to get you know cars like this so I can um, basically stockpile, uh, get a better pile of, of parts. Um, I do actually plan to, or I would like to get uh, a 3D printer. I need two things: is a, a 3D printer and because I've had some ideas in terms of things I want to do um, so I've been talking to one of my family members about getting one kind of splitting it and then seeing what we can do to um, 
make some parts and I don't know I might end up trying to sell some parts or something like that uh, over time so I'm just trying to think about it and see if it's uh, you know see if it's worthwhile but um, so there's that and I need a new camera for uh, for the channel as well so I'm gonna try and work on that um, I've got this one too I actually got a, a, a one of these not too long ago in a package and I was actually planning on opening that on the channel but because um, it was already 20 years old or something like that um, but uh, yeah I thought this was kind of cool so I got another one still kind of fits in with the um, sort of like the air cars in a way, so like another jet. Um, I kind of want to make my own sort of custom version. So I'm thinking about using those Gundam parts that I just uh, shared a video on to build some kind of a some kind of a, a racing car that um, you know something like basically from scratch, like a kit bashed uh, model, which he, you guys know that I like to do. So um, here is another one. I have an idea to build this into. Decepticon um, <laughs> Air Commander Starscream that's kind of what I want to do I actually have one of these from before but it was broken so like this little I don't know what you want to call it uh, part of the engine it was broken so so this is good that I got another one that is um, you know complete I actually have a lot of these cars that I bought to do to do sorry the um, Martian racing all stripped down uh, strip the paint but they're just kind of sitting there uh, waiting for me to catch up which I'm gonna do uh, very soon hopefully um, so and then I got this um, what is this like an old Corvette I guess Mustang concept oh geez I should have known that just looking at it I used to own a 1968 um, Mustang for a little while before I got married and don't have that anymore <laughs> but uh, anyways that uh, yeah. I'm embarrassed that I should have uh, recognized that um, then we got our one of our earliest um, RC vehicles um, I thought this was kind of cool so I got a little uh, police car here and uh, I would assume I did actually see a bag of nothing but police related cars um, at Value Village, I should have grabbed them all, but um, I think I have a lot of police type of cars. I could build, you know, something like a group out of them. But uh, yeah, I got this guy, and then this one I have already, like uh, all done in yellow. I think it is um, somewhere in one of my boxes. So it's kind of cool to get another one of these. It's um, I, I think it's I think it's the same one. Yeah, it's uh, definitely Mattel. I think this might be, yeah, it's like a McDonald's cart. You can see that right there. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a McDonald's car. Um, pretty cool looking. This actually would have been a good uh, candidate for um, like a cyberpunk uh, car, actually, now that I think about it. So, but, you know, we go we go big on the on this channel so you know I built this thing pretty uh, pretty much last week so well, within the last couple of weeks I should say so definitely was done uh, recently so uh, so here is the group um, sitting in all in front of uh, project Goliath here uh, mr. you know the big um, mammoth limousine and uh, yeah so I got some some new cars here to kind of add to the pool um, I can start working on all the stuff that I keep collecting some of these things I just you know put in my own collection and they just kind of stay where they are but other ones I will actually like to convert um, into something pretty cool and uh, it's actually kind of funny because I'll usually take a brand new car off the shelf and you know for a buck and convert that and then any of these old ones um, you know just kind of Put them away in my collection, uh, especially like some of the Matchbox cars and things like that are usually you know, kind of hard to find. Um, but um, you know, I can see like even you know with these. I mean, these these alone have great parts. You got off-road tires. Um, you know, if I didn't, even if I didn't like the car itself, I can take this, 
you know, I can take the engine and, you know, even, I wouldn't use it with that, but, you know, you can kind of do some converting with, with some of these parts. I like to take things like this and put it in things like this, you know, and that's, or even this. So actually this car, uh, this engine here came from uh, like a 34 Ford McDonald's car that I had and um, I used most of the parts for it. So you can see that right there. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing, the reason why this is all, uh, whoops, uh, masked off right now, I'm actually gonna paint it uh, black. These, the tires are no longer sticky. So they were really sticky when I first painted them, but now they're not. And I should be able to actually paint them again and hopefully that they won't, uh, they won't be sticky. So, um, I don't know, I'm gonna see what happens. Um, anyways, um, thanks for stopping by the channel. Um, yeah, I know if you're a new uh, visitor and you like kind of this type of content, uh, you like Hot Wheels, you like uh, die cast cars, stuff like that, you like the conversions, uh, I've got a few interesting ones in mind uh, very coming up, coming up very soon. So um, yeah, if you can subscribe, I will do my best to keep track. I'm just gonna look through all the notifications uh, and whatnot later on in the month. And then um, I'm going to decide what I'm gonna do in terms of uh, a giveaway. So it could be like a starter kit. It could be a completed model, for example. It could be a combination of both. I know I did that in the past where I sent off a couple of vehicles to some guys and I gave them some extra parts and things like that. It was, you know, kind of a, so-so gift uh, but this time it might be um, a little better so if you're a subscriber already please don't uh, subscribe and try to subscribe again because I may notice that um, so <laughs> let's not be counterproductive so um, trying to see if I can get the numbers up I'd like to really try to get north of, I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers uh, very very soon if at all possible so that's why I'm gonna try to do this and see how it goes and um you know by the end of the month who knows we'll see what happens so anyways thanks for uh stopping by the channel uh hopefully you're having a great day and um yeah thanks for stopping by again thanks thank you cheers